Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add Steam Workshop mods to your local DAISY server that you've set up on your local PC or laptop or a Shadow Boost gaming PC like I've done here um, that you can that you are using for single player DAISY or probably to test um, mods, XML mods, workshop mods, that sort of stuff. It's, it's very simple to do. Um, now the first step is always in Steam and you want to go to the workshop, so community workshop then when you get to that bit you want to search for the day z workshop and then you want to find the um the mods you want to install now in this particular video we're going to be looking at two simple mods unlimited stamina and winter chernerous so if we go to unlimited stamina like this unlimited stamina mod we can click on that and then you want to click on the bit that says subscribe down here so you want to subscribe that and it will start downloading it to your PC then the other one we want to install is winter chernerous so let's search for winter chernerous There is winter chairs now it's very 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 important with mods that you read the instructions on how to install them now these two i've picked unlimited stamina and winter chairs are actually very very easy mods to install we don't have to do much but down below um, the pictures there'll be the uh, descriptions unfortunately the instructions on how to install a lot of mods can be a little bit lackluster is probably a way of saying it um the guys and girls who have written them are probably concentrating on other things so often for some of the more complicated mods um like um, community online tools or zomberry actually there's, a, there's a, the instructions for zomberry are, are excellent but with some of the other ones you may well need to do some youtube searching to look at some tutorials on how to install them because they're not as simple as these two but anyway Back to Winter Turner, so just subscribe to that and they'll then start downloading to your local PC. So this is this is my local PC. So uh, we just double click on local to see and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the uh, files where all this stuff is hidden. So if you go to program files x86 and then go to Steam and then go to Steam apps and then we go to workshop um, and then we go to no we've gone to the wrong place we don't go there <laughs> we go steam apps then we go to common I do apologize then we go to Daisy and then you go to this workshop one here it's kind of a hidden folder it's got an exclamation mark next to it basically you don't change anything in these files but this is where all your um, Steam mods download to. So what we're going to do is the two that we want that have downloaded are Winter Chernerous and Unlimited Stamina. So we're just going to control click there, right click, and we would copy them. Once you've copied them, come up. And you want to go to the folder where your DAISY server is. So in this case, my one's here. And you will right click and you paste it here. So click somewhere, right click, paste it, and they will appear here. They're not ready to go yet, though. So there's a couple of things we need to do. So you go into Winter Chernerous, and you go into the keys, and you copy the key, and you come up, and you go into the keys folder for your server, and you paste them in. So right click, paste. And then you do the same for Unlimited Stamina. Keys, copy. Back into keys. Oh, I've gone too far. We find it the proper way now. Steam, Steam apps, common, Daisy server chairs, where I've signed it. Um, go into the keys, paste it there. So you've got your keys. The keys are the way that I think it kind of locks the the server, the, the client with the server together to make sure they're talking, you know, from the same, singing from the same hymn book sort of thing. And then once we've done that, we're almost ready to go. But we, what we need to do is, you remember from my previous video where we talked about the batch file? 
we've got to make sure our batch file, the thing that starts our server on our local, local PC, says the right thing. So fire up Notepad++ and open up your batch file. You know, it, it's probably called start. That's what we did in the last one. And then what you're looking for, your one probably looks like this. If you scroll down to this, the line that says start on it, you won't have anything to do with mods. You probably have profiles, config, and then nothing there. So what I need you to do is, you probably want to play the video full screen at this moment, but if I just copy this. So what it says is we've got exclamation mark or inverted commas dash mod equals at unlimited dash stamina. Oh, because oh, one, one thing I did actually rename that from unlimited space stamina to unlimited dash stamina. You don't actually have to do that, but it's something I did. And then uh, winter churnerous. I did the same with that one. But as long as your mods are within exclamation marks, it doesn't matter if there's spaces. So I copy that. And um, I would then paste that into here making sure we've got a space there. And that's telling our batch file, look, start the Daisy server, but I want you to start it with those mods. And in fact, what I've done is I've saved that as startwinterchernerous.bat. So actually, if you go into my um, Chernerous uh, server, you can see I've got different start um, batch files. And once you've done that, all you then do is you get your server running Make sure it fires up. There it is. Minimize this, minimize this, minimize this, minimize this, minimize that. We've got the Daisy um, launcher up. Now we're going to want our mods, aren't we? So that we know the mods that are on here are, are Winter Chernerous and Unlimited Stamina. So we've loaded those up. Go to the top, I went to Chernus and Limited Stamina, there, there. Then go to Servers, just refresh that, make sure it's right. There's uh, SSG, Chernus Local Server. Oh, just click on that, I see it's running two mods, which we can click on more details. So it's running uh, Winter Chernus and Limited Stamina, which we've done. So set up DLC mods and join, so we just click on that. And it's going to fire this up. And this is amazing because. If you've done much playing around with uh, Steam Workshop mods on a live um, community server, private server, that sort of stuff, the ability to change things, it, you, know, you can do it, but it takes a long time, you know, stopping a server, saving the files, uploading them, restarting the server, logging in, all of this sort of stuff. Mainly it's around about stopping and restarting the server, it can, can take a long time. But when you're doing it locally like this, you can have lots of different batch files with different server config uh, parameters to start your server. And you can play around with all sorts of different things. You know, Say you're having a problem with the order that um, mods load in, it's a matter of seconds to change them around and fire it up again. Um, I, know, I, th I think it's an incredibly powerful tool for people with private servers, well, community servers, um, this ability to do it locally on your PC, to experiment, to try things out, to see what works, to see what doesn't work. Content creation, obviously, is something that I think about. Um, in fact, let's just uh, control alt. Uh, what is it? Uh, alt and O. Go full screen. And there we go. We are on. Winter Chernerous, and we have unlimited stamina. How cool is that? Hello, zombies. I'll run past you. Right, so there we go. Hopefully, you found that useful. How to um, install mods on your uh, local Daisy server. Just remember that you must follow the instructions that they put next to the um, the mods when you're. Um, when you're looking in the Steam Workshop, and as I, say, as I say, some of the instructions can be a little bit obtuse, and you may well have to do some further digging to see if they work. Also, actually, before I stop as well, one of the big problems with um, any any mods or anything like that, it's not just DayZ, is that sometimes they stop working. There'll be an update that's made to the game that stops the mod from working, and 
you know the mod won't get updated maybe the person's on holiday maybe they stop doing it now and you'll be bashing your head against a brick wall trying to um, get something to work um, and um, it just uh, it just won't but there we go I'm being chased by a massive pack of zombies it sounds like the wolves are on their way too so I'm going to say adieu if you've liked the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon